if things at your house are anything like they are here at our house, you're getting a little bit of cabin fever. And since Mrs. Kapanka has this little class she's doing called Mrs. Kapanka's Cozy Little Cabin, I thought I would take a minute to explain some things that go on in the other corners of that cabin. Shadow boxes were popular back in the 1980s, and that's when this one was made. It's made out of yard sticks. I'll show you some close-ups of that later. And then basically you just make it as big as you think you're gonna need for whatever little treasures you might have in your house. And each one of these little sections tells a little story. And since you've got a lot of time on your hands and I've got time on mine, I thought I would tell you some of the stories in this little shadow box. I'll first show you how it's made. Every little box is made out of yardsticks. Back when I did this, they were free. I don't know if that's true now. You basically get a rectangular piece of wood or lengthwise, whatever you might have, and then you glue yardsticks onto it, and then I stained it. Then you just start filling it in. Every little box is made out of yardsticks. Down here in this corner is a picture of uh, Mrs. Kapanka and I when we were dating, before we were married. That pouch, I cut that pouch out of this deer hide and later on I found a little animal tooth. I thought it was probably something that an Indian might do and back then that was enough for me to make a pouch and wear it around the woods. I was about 12. Behind this copper penny that has the Lord's Prayer printed on it is a bunch of shredded money. I had a student, to be honest, I don't know where he got it. I'm not sure the story behind that. When you went to Cedar Point, way back in the 60s, you got a bracelet that let you go on to all the rides. It was just a string and a little metal clip. This, uh, this candy kiss, was supposed to be a candy kiss. When I proposed to Mrs. Kapanka, I put her diamond engagement ring inside a candy kiss. And then I put it in a candy box full of other candy kisses. When I proposed, I gave her the box of candy and eventually she found the right candy kiss. Here's a stamp from the Summer Olympics of 1980 in which the United States did not participate. That was a decision that Jimmy Carter had made. That's off my first Schwinn 10-speed bike, the seat of my bike. These little rubber stoppers with the holes on top. My mom used to iron with those. She would fill a bottle of water, and then they came up with something called a steam iron, and those weren't needed anymore. Let's make America great again. Let's make America great again. Make America great again. Where have I heard that? Up there is a little tiny pocket knife with a Canadian Mountie on it. Sunday school attendance pin. They used to give those out in my church. Way down here in the bottom is a harmonica. It's one of the first ones I ever bought back in middle school. I went through a lot of harmonicas as a kid. I think I'll um, show you more about those in a different spot. Well, that's a shadow box, and I believe you and your parents could probably make one of those at home. Even before you make it, you might want to start looking for little tiny things that tell a little story from your life. This one is almost 40 years old. And to be honest, I haven't looked at it in a long, long time.
And as I've shared before, we don't live in the past, but it's good sometimes to take a backward glance because when we do, it reminds us that God is faithful in the past, faithful in the present, and he will be faithful in the future. So until next time, have fun with your family, stay active on your schoolwork, and uh, goodbye for now. Thank you.